welcome to the feature highlights on Pipso TV channel. My name is Sinisha and in these short videos I will guide you through the entire process of setting up the features in Pipso plugin or Gecko theme. This time around I will be focusing all attention to the post backgrounds feature and explain everything you need to know regarding the setup and how your community members can use it on the site. Post backgrounds is recently introduced in Pipso foundation plugin which means it is totally free and available for everyone. So let's get straight into it. Before using the post backgrounds, this feature first needs to be enabled. So go to your WordPress dashboard, navigate to Pipso configuration, and in the page that loads, you will find this stream posts tab. Clip, click on it, and once it loads, you will find the post backgrounds options. It is enabled for me already, but it probably won't be enabled for you. So flip this switch to make the magic happen. Ignore these options for now. We will talk about them later. So for now, simply save settings and make sure that settings are saved. You will see this options, options updated message here. Now go back to your site, refresh the page and once it loads, you will see here in the, in the post type that you can now select the post background. By default, you will have these six backgrounds, but you can change them in the WordPress admin configuration very easily. I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. For now, let's just try to make a post with this background, for example. Let's say this community is awesome and post it and as, as you can see I also use the hashtag here which will show up later in the community hashtags once the cron job is triggered but that's the subject for another video for now you can like it love it smile on it comment on this new post or do whatever basically so now we want to change or add more backgrounds. So how to do that? It's very simple. Go back to the WordPress dashboard and navigate to Pipso Manage. In this page, there will be a post backgrounds tab. Click on it. And now the page with six default backgrounds Remember these? These are six default backgrounds. They will show up here. Here they are. So let's try to disable this one. We won't disable the fireworks because we used that one for our post. But we are going to disable all of them except this one. Okay, disable that one. Disable it and disable this one. So now when you refresh the page on the front end and try to use the post backgrounds, you will see only this fireworks background is available because we disabled all of them. Let's keep them disabled to be easier for us later on. Okay. Yeah, you can rearrange their place easily so they will show up in the in a different order on the back end just drag and drop them and it's simple as that but let's create a new background so you just click on add new and here in this new background you first need to enable it change the name of the background save it change the image you can upload your own files but I already uploaded in the media library so I'll choose this one yes use this image if I want to change the color of the post I will do that here, but I'm going to keep it white for now. 
just to show you how uh, how it changes the color you see it becomes red then I choose a blue it becomes blue but I simply stick to the white because it's it's the best one in my opinion so yeah that's all you need to do to 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 make a new background if you want to uh, if you want this new background to show before fireworks just simply drag and drop it here let's refresh the page and see what happens close the backgrounds you see how our new background is before this one if we can change their places and refresh the page they will simply uh, they will simply swap the places because that's how we that's how we want it there you go okay coming back to the configuration option that i said to ignore for now it's time to explain them as well so go back to the configuration and stream posts Maximum post length is simply a number of characters characters that is allowed to be to be written here. So one, two, three, four, five, that's the number of characters. Space is also a character. So be careful with that. And the maximum length you can use in is 199. You cannot go over that because if you do, if you try to post a book here, there will simply background will not be enough so we had to restrict this to only 199 characters allow line breaks uh, you probably won't see my drop down in the video but here you can choose values of 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 what does this mean uh, line break uh, when it's set to 0 it simply means no line breaks so whatever I, whatever I write here, it can only be in one line. So first line, and if I try to press enter, I'm pressing the enter, maybe you can hear it, but it won't allow me. So if I select and change this to one, now I'm allowing only one line break. Let's save it. Again, make sure that options are updated and refresh the page yes reload now we we are going to allow for one line break choose the post background let's use our new background so first line second line and i can do no more because we are saying only one line break. And that wraps up everything you need to know about setting up and using post backgrounds. If you liked the video and want to see more, give us a thumbs up, follow us on social media sites, or join our community. Links are in the description below. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.